Hello, this is Jenny Fern, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about the seeds that I've collected and I'm saving a little bit about my garden and, um, you know, how things have been. (laughs) So recently, the past few days, I've been pretty sick. I had a fever and generally just like slept most (laughs) of the day. Um, I had to take time off of work um, to try to get better. I think I'm a, a bit more over it, although I did take a nap for like a few hours in the middle of the day, falling asleep on the couch, waking up in absolute confusion. Um, so probably not entirely over it, (laughs) but I am in, in better spirits because I have the next week off of work for Christmas and holiday stuff. So I'm very excited about that. Um, having some time to like I don't know, do whatever I want is pretty exciting. And um, yeah, I'm hoping to spend some time in the garden as long as the weather is okay and and do that kind of stuff. So you may see on this tabletop uh, that I have accumulated even more little plants to <laughs> keep in the, in the southern window um, of this house. And that is true. I... I'm actually so excited because I found out that one of the kind of mystery seeds that I planted recently is a nasturtium. So that's so exciting. I've heard a lot about them from gardening channels, but I've never had one. And I've also um, never like tasted one because people like eat the flowers all the time. And um, so I'm just so excited about planting that out um, eventually. It's getting pretty large, so I'm going to have to transfer it into another indoor pot because uh, I don't it, I don't think it's ready to go outside yet because it's, you know, like the middle of winter. So anyway, um, I decided to try a little bit to organize my seeds because right now they are just in like a series of bowls or just like laying in a drawer and um I've collected a few things from um various foods that I've gotten from the store this one was a crookneck squash that I got from just like a like take this home with you table at work so um I have some squash seeds that hopefully will bear some crookneck um in the future actually have to figure out when I'm supposed to start planting squash because I'm very excited about it. I also recently had a butternut squash. Um, I made it really delicious soup. (laughs) It was very good. I made it when I was sick and like halfway through like making it, I was like, I want to fall asleep, (laughs) but I had to, I had to continue cooking it. (laughs) I couldn't just fall asleep, but it was delicious. So, um, Anyway, I'll have uh, butternut squash seeds. And yeah, so generally I've just been kind of collecting seeds and planting um, from all of the seeds that I've purchased online as well. Oh, and in stores. I've purchased seeds from stores as well. So I think I finally have some flowers that are starting to sprout. And that is just so exciting to me because I would love to get some um, like pollinator attracting plants um, into my garden. Oh, (laughs) garden. So I have um, uh, gophers and there is a gopher that's so dangerously close to eating my, I think it's broccoli. And um, I also went and saw that, oh, maybe it was a lettuce or a mustard or some sort of green that I just planted outside has been somewhat eaten by some sort of insect so it's a gamble (laughs) once they go outside it really is um so a little bit concerning um so anyway i'm using some uh um what are they called paper bags to make these little simple um seed packets um i I don't know why, but I'm not entirely concerned about like seed viability for these seeds that I just like collect. Um, For ones that I purchase, I'm a little bit more concerned about that kind of thing because I would like to get my money's worth. But for these, like I have a bunch of tomatoes that I purchased from the store. 
of different varieties. So there were some that were these like little tiny wrinkly, like very weird tomatoes that I'm hoping I, um, I get some tomatoes from in the, in the coming summer, um, from these seeds. But anyway, I'm, I'm just, because these are like little freebie seeds, I'm less concerned about preserving them super duper well. (laughs) Um, yeah. I've also been looking at houses. I talked about this briefly, I think, in a previous video, but um, we are looking currently, um, and it's a little bit of a tough situation, you know, working with a garden when you aren't exactly sure when you might possibly be leaving it, but our luck with this whole housing thing has not been great for, like, actually finding a house to buy. Um, but this current place that we live at is kind of so great (laughs) that it's not that much of a bummer. And, um, I think it's good to invest in the garden, even if I don't know if I'm going to be here for it in the future. I'm pretty excited because I've planted like mint and rosemary and lavender in the front yard for the, um, like the flower kind of garden. (laughs) I know those aren't really flowers, but (laughs) that's how I think of it. It's more of an herb garden. Um, I also have my herb garden in the, in the backyard as well, but, um, yeah, but as long as like those stay there, it's kind of exciting that I've made some impact. Although I know I don't have any control over what happens to this area when we do leave. So it could all be, like, bulldozed over, you know, which is a little bit disheartening. Um, But I I don't think that that is enough reason to prevent, you know, trying and planting and trying to make things grow. Um, Oh, I don't know what these seeds are or where I took them from, but I only have, like, four of them. So I'm intrigued to plant those out. Um... And, um, yeah, one, one thing I'd like to mention about the actual construction of these little paper bag things, the tape doesn't stick very well, so I would recommend instead using something like a staple, um, or, I don't know, you don't really need it to work (laughs) that well, so it, it, it does enough to at least say what the seeds are. I'm notoriously bad for forgetting what I've planted, and what the seed even is. But, I mean, it ends up okay in the end, I guess. Okay, um, happy holidays, and as always, thanks for watching.